hello guys, new vlog. Guess what we're doing right now. So this is the only clip that we're gonna be showing on this camera for the rest of the vlog. Wow. Because, weird. yeah, new camera. Okay, let's look at it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, let's see. I'm so excited. So we ordered from B&H uh, Photo and they delivered in one day, which is super cool because we were really excited about this order, obviously. It was nice not to have it wait. And they did also deliver it with FedEx signature delivery. So that was really nice too because we have had a package stolen recently in our building. Don't want to deal with that again. Nope. Especially something as expensive as this. Yep. So we have obviously a new 32 gigabyte card, which is all we ever use because I don't like putting too much footage or photos on one card. I get nervous, so I like smaller cards. We have a new shotgun, shotgun mic. mic. Rode, nice. Ooh, I like that it's red, not pink, because the picture yeah. looks pink. <laughs> Canon EOS M50. Nice. Ta-da! <gasps> yeah, it it's beautiful. so tiny, I love oh, it. I'm so excited for a smaller camera for vlogging. Oh, look how flat it is, I love it. Beautiful. Wonderful. But here it is. I did a lot of research on cameras, and this is the one that over time people loved for the longest, and even now, year, a few years after it's come out, people say that they haven't found a camera by a different brand or anything similar that can do everything that this one can do. So that's why we picked this one. We also got it with the 15 to 45 millimeter lens, so it'll be slightly less wide angle than this one right here, but I'm okay with that because I don't like how this lens warps so my warp. face a little too much. So this is gonna be better. This will greatly enhance our content quality, just so you know. She's live, what do we think? I love it. I it looks it really good. Yeah, it's a little le like a little more zoomed in than the other lens, but yeah. I think it looks really good. Yeah, I'm gonna have. Now you to can adjust. see more of my true face. I'm gonna start morphing into just the beard. <laughs> <laughs> like if you if you focus on you, you can only see my beard. Hello. Oh, There's all the way zoomed in. Wow. wow. Okay, that's way too close. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, I really like that. That it just focuses on you, like the. It's the, got really good autofocus. That's one yeah. thing that this camera has that other people have said Damn. they don't have. I love it. On their cameras. It's amazing. I think later, so we're having guests come over tonight. But later, later maybe I'll show you all the camera equipment that we have and like what we use in case you're interested. I know this isn't going to be interesting to everybody, but in case it's interesting to you. Hey. Well, hello. The colors are really good. I think so too. I like it. I'm wow. into it. Wow. I feel like I look more like myself with this lens. Yeah. You do. Less, Less warped. Yeah, my nose always looks really big with like a super wide angle. <laughs> <laughs> look at the cute little face. This is working on his YouTube video. Yes. Yeah. What am I gonna work on? I probably should be working on my YouTube video. <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna veg for a little bit because here's why. So Vincent met these people at the laundromat. Very romantic. Yes, he was hearing, he heard someone speaking in French. So he was like, hey, I speak French too. And then the guy's wife showed up and it turns out they're just like us and she's American and he's French and so they had this like 25 minute talk about their lives and now they're friends. The only issue is these people are moving back to France ah. really soon. So this is almost like a nice getting to know you, bye kind of a deal. <laughs> um, but I think that for me it's just kind of like we had so many friends, uh, so many potential friends like that in my life. And we kind of passed up on the opportunity sometimes and I just want to stop that. I just want to nip it in the bud. I'm not going to stop myself from making connections anymore. And I just want to start meeting some new people. So just being brave and just making things work. Just what voila. I agree. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to hang out with them for a little bit. Have a little like not dinner, but light dinner kind of a deal. Hang out and watch the election results for a little bit. I know this is a very weird time to invite people over. <laughs> I was telling Vincent, um, are they like us or is this going to be like super awkward if they're like cheering for the every Trump state Trump wins and we're just like kind of ambivalent about it. And it that would just be really weird. So anyway. <laughs> 
Yep. Hopefully, hopefully they're cool. Okay, I gotta get it going. I, I kind of like this. I, I think I, I like the up close and personal. I like it too. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do. I was gonna show you um, all of our camera equipment and we can talk about it for a minute. Okay, I'm Since he's working on stuff. Oh, my back. So, this is our old vlogging setup. Ugh, this little trunker right here is the EOS 200D slash SL2. Um, it's 200D in Europe and we bought it when we were in France. So that's what it is for us um, with this 10 to 18 millimeter lens. If you're just starting out and like you need a camera that can kind of do everything, this is super awesome for that. Um, let me set this down. So if you need a camera that can do kind of everything, this is really great. It's a crop sensor DSLR. Um, battery life is really good on it and it can really just kind of do everything you need it to do. We obviously, you know, started off with the kit lens, um, the 18 to 55 millimeter. The issue with this is that it's super loud autofocus, like it's terrible. It's pretty much unusable for video, which is obviously what we bought this for mostly. Um, so we very quickly bought this um, lens, the 10 to 18 millimeter. It's extremely wide angle, 10 millimeter is so wide angle. So it's really great for getting like big shots. Obviously, as you've seen in all of my previous vlogs, since we got this camera, like while we were in France two years ago, um, more than two years ago actually. But um, yeah, it's just a lot for me to like carry around all the time. This lens is really, really big. Um, but it's it served us well. So our new camera, which I obviously can't show you right now, but here, I will insert clips. So our new camera is obviously a lot smaller because it's not a DSLR, it's um, digital. So it has about half, you know, of this body width of this one. Um, but otherwise it's really similar. The screen is the exact same size. The battery pack is just like a few millimeters smaller, which is annoying, but um, I get it. We just had to mark all of our batteries for this one with like the SL2 so we know the difference because they look so similar. Um, but the really cool thing about this one, I will insert a video of that also. Um, the lens, the 15 to 45 millimeter lens, which is what we got, it's still a little bit wide angle. Um, and it clicks, like it clips in to be even tighter when it's not in use which makes it so transportable. It's so, it's gonna be so much easier to fit in my bags and stuff than this camera has been. This camera pretty much, I knew if I was taking this camera anywhere, I was gonna be having it on my arm the entire time. This new one I can put away, which is gonna be so nice. So anyway, that's why we're really excited about this. And then the other part of that is that now that Vincent's getting a lot more into photography, we wanna get some other lenses like the 50 millimeter lens. It's like a pancake lens. It's short and it doesn't have like, you know, adjustable focal length. Um, and maybe a few other things for him to up his photography game. And then when we're out, he can be using this camera mostly for pictures and I can be using this camera for video. I think I'm pretty much done vlogging for the day because I don't obviously feel comfortable in the middle of meeting new people, like shoving a camera in their face and asking them if they can be in my video on YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> that would be weird. wouldn't that be so awkward? I'm just like, hi, hi. want to be in my video? <laughs> so I am going to sign off for now and then maybe we'll touch base after they leave. We'll see, I don't know how late they're gonna stay, but election night is tonight. So it's kind of a stressful night. Okay, bye. Hey guys, we're, oh gosh, it's so bright. We're out taking pictures and doing stuff. We're walking down to the post office actually, just to see how long of a walk it is. Because, okay, this is what I've been alluding to that I haven't been able to talk about yet because I didn't have all the supplies that I needed yet. It's time we're talking about it. I am starting a Depop shop. I know that I mentioned selling clothes online in the context of the clothes that I was getting rid of out of my own closet. But what I've been wanting to do forever, which I just decided to start, just pull the trigger, we're doing it, is open like a vintage shop for clothes online. So that's what we're doing. Me and Vincent are very good thrift store shoppers. We love doing it. I find great deals and great finds. New York City has the best thrift stores in the country, in my opinion. So I just feel like I need to share all my finds with you. And I'm really excited about it. I've already found some really fun, interesting things that I can't wait to post and style and do all the things for. So anyway, I'm gonna be selling some of my old clothes and lots of other really cool stuff that I find on Depop. 
and the link is in the description if you want to go check it out. I will also post on my Instagram, so if you follow me in both places, you'll have already seen this. But go take a look. Um, everything obviously is going to be close to my size, so just keep that in mind as you're looking. I'm extremely petite, so this is for all you short girls out there. This is for you. Okay, that was all I had to say, but I'm very excited. Sorry it's so crazy down here. Holy moly. Okay, bye. It's a cute. Well, thank you. Wow. In my long hair. Yeah, we don't get to see you oh. in all your lion's mane glory very much. Here's the whole mane. Wow. <laughs> look at that lush lock. That's only half your hair too, because the rest of it's shaved. You have so much hair. Yeah. Gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> We're going down. Hey guys. Oof, that is bright. My hair is crazy. Um, we just got off at there we go. We just got Street. off at 14th Street. We are gonna run to West Side Market and grab a little bit of food. I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm starving. And also I took some pills that I should have taken with food and I didn't and now my tummy hurts. So we gotta take care of that. But we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. We're gonna go to the store. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> what did we get? I got roast beef wrap. Got a roast beef wrap and a turkey sandwich. We're just gonna each have half of each. Yum. <laughs> Every time I get deli sandwiches, unless it's a hot sandwich with like melty cheese and stuff, if it's a cold sandwich, I eat the first half. And then I just kind of get tired of all the bread and I just want to eat the inside. So most of the time, after the first half, I just take it apart. Will you still be my friend? <laughs> what did we just get? Some coffee. Did we even show it? No, we did not. Why not? Because we just drink it all. Why? Because it's so good. Okay, good answer. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Either way, you got all the Oh, it's a very windy day today. We just went to East Village Thrift. And it wasn't what I remembered. So, I have a question for you. If any of you guys are from New York or have lived here and know what I'm talking about, comment. Um, there's just one thrift store that I'm thinking of that I went to years ago. My mom, I think, went to it also when she lived here like 30 years ago. Like it's been around for forever because we were talking about it and it sounded like we had been in the same place. Anyway, it's got, um, kind of specialized in vintage stuff, not the cheapest, and it has a basement level that has a lot more space in it than the upper level. I can't remember where it is or what it's called. So we're just planning on going to every thrift store until we find it someday. But if you know what it is, let me know so I don't waste too much time. <laughs> but yeah, we went to East Village Thrift, didn't have any luck. So we're walking over to the East Village Goodwill now, the one where we did have really good luck a couple vlogs ago. We're gonna check there again today, see what we might be able to find. There you go. Voila. Voila. <laughs> look again at the thrift store. East Village Goodwill is literally where it's at. Hello. We got home at around five. We were so hungry. So we literally ordered Thai food while we were still on the train so we could pick it up on the way home. It was so delicious. And then we watched the Great British Bake Off, and figured out our schedule for next week and realized that we were going to be effing busy and now we're going to bed early. Sorry, what did you have to say? Nothing, just a kissing to everything that you're saying. So, just want to end the vlog for tonight right here. I might film a little tomorrow. I don't know, it's going to be kind of a boring day because Vincent's teaching almost all day. It's going to be a week. It's going to be a week, guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's 
not a cute ending. All right, good night, love you, bye. Bye. <laughs> Got bagels, kids. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, Vincent's typing, so it's kind of loud. I look trash and my hair is not cute right now, but that's okay. We're about to fix it. It's all gonna be fine. Um, I ran to Inwood Bagels around the corner, got my favorite from there at least. Um, everything bagel with veggie cream cheese. Some other places make really good sesame bagels, but their everything bagels are to die for, so that's what I get every time. Um, I also got four additional everything bagels because I like to hurt myself and they're so good. <laughs> okay, look at this. You guys are all gonna be hungry after you see this thing. Okay, I have to eat, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I also have my usual um, coffee, foam doli, a little bit of sugar and pumpkin spice. Um, okay, so I know yesterday I mentioned going to the thrift store but what I didn't mention, I think I should do a clip of it, but what I didn't mention was going to Best Buy also because Vincent wanted to get the rest of his um, birthday present stuff. So as soon as I eat this bagel, I'll show you what we got. I'm excited. got called for Joe Biden. Obviously our entire neighborhood is thrilled. Entire neighborhood. You can see it, you can hear it. <laughs> it's a pretty magical moment to be a part of this community, gotta say. <laughs> okay, back to real life. It's a good day to be a New Yorker. <laughs> um, I was going to show you guys what we got. Um, at the thrift store. We have like 15 minutes until Vincent's next class. So I will show you what we got at the thrift store really quickly. And then I'm gonna grab like a cup of tea or something and maybe a snack. And then I'm gonna keep working on the blog, which is what I was doing a few minutes ago. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. So, actually, I gotta set these down. I can't do this like this. Oh I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go, cute. Okay, so first off, I got this jacket. Tag still on it, brand new. It's like no kind of special brand or anything, but I just liked it. <laughs> I just think it's fun and it's red, which is cool. Um, so I got this. This one actually, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but I just think it's really cute. Um, it's this cool little cardigan. It has like cool wooden buttons and a fun design on the back and kind of short sleeves and collar I don't know I just thought it was really cool and a little bit different then I got a couple pairs of pants so I found these they're like a really good length kind of like a long um definitely got like a dress pant but they fit my waist really well and I just think they'll look really cool with like sneakers I just think they're really nice so I got these I also I saw these on the rack as they were putting them out and so I just snagged them um they are a little bit too small for me but they're like an extra, extra small petite from Petite Studio New York. They are so cute. They're just like maybe slightly too tight to be comfortable around my waist. So these ones I'm definitely putting on my Depop shop um, if you're interested. They are a really awesome length. Like I'm actually kind of sad that they don't fit me because I would 100% keep them if they did. But um, look out for these if you're interested and if you think they might fit you. If you're slightly smaller in the waist area than I am, they, they're they really cool. Then Vincent also grabbed a couple things. This new flannel shirt. He's been really into flannel and like layering shirts lately. So he got this and he also snagged this Dickies top. Again, just like a cool oversized shirt to layer with for him. It's a size extra large tall. <laughs> that one's like really Even big. Even on me, it looks giant. Yeah, it's like, it's cool. It's like an oversized look, which is kind of hard to find for a 200 pound man. So that was fun. Um, Yeah, that's what we got. Super cool. I now have two different kinds of cool red blazer jackets this one that I got yesterday and then this vintage one that I found last time we went out so <laughs> I'm still trying to decide do I want to keep one and get rid of one do I want to keep both for now and get rid of one later I don't know babe what should I do for a snack that is a great question my friend oh 
<laughs> I don't know either. Here's what I do know. My period is gonna start any moment. I can like feel it. You know how you when you can just tell things just don't feel right. Everything feels a little uncomfortable. I've also been super kind of PMSy all week, which is not fun. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna figure that out. Maybe I'll do one of those cups that we got. That might be good. Oh, sorry. I am not used to this camera yet. I'm really sorry. I keep like chopping off the top of my head because I'm used to holding the camera up at the height of the DSLR with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. This one's giving me problems. Okay, my little meal is cooking in the microwave. It actually is gonna be done in a few seconds. You'll probably hear it beep, but before I go eat, I wanted to show you, there it is. <laughs> I wanna show you the other things that we got from Best Buy like you saw yesterday. Um, so as you know, we just bought the um, Canon M50, which is a different lens connection than our DSLR. But since Vincent's taking on more photography related stuff on the DSLR, we needed to get some better lenses for him because all we've had this entire time is the kit lens, like the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which has a really loud zoom, which is why I usually don't use it for videos. Um, but that's all we've had along with our wide angle. So you should be real proud of us for how much use we have gotten out of those lenses. And that was what we bought. That's what we bought when we first bought this DSLR back in like early 2018. So it's been a few years that that's all we've had and we just felt like it was really time to upgrade. So we're so excited. We got, um, first of all, we got the 50 millimeter lens, which is currently on the camera. Let me show you. So it looks like this. This one is one that gives you like a really, really nice, creamy, blurry bokeh background um, for photos. So this one we're very excited about. And then we realized that's not really gonna cut it. So then, Turns out that the Canon 24 millimeter lens was also on sale for $120. So we got this one too. So this one um, is the go-to for like group shots or for like, you know, when you wanna show more of the surroundings. And it's so short, which is cool. So we're super excited. We now have um, our wide angle, a very wide angle lens for really fun kind of dynamic shots. We've got a nice, you know, blurry background lens and we've got a more clear you know standard kind of a lens so it's awesome i think that that's gonna work really well for vincent to do like really anything he might possibly want to do as far as photography goes they were really affordable which is cool so there you go i think it'll also work really well for vincent like when he's doing his um videos for youtube also just having a pancake lens on the camera um, without the focus kind of being so loud. It's just so much easier. So there you go. Now you kind of know all of our camera equipment. I don't know if that's confusing. I know I kind of did it like in parts as we've purchased things, but there's the update. Um, okay, so this is what I ended up making. Jackfruit Company, kind of Tex-Mex meal. Gotta say, it smells a little funky. So we're gonna see, okay. I guess you can hang out with me while we do this, huh? Let's see if this is even cooked all the way through. I almost always have to like zap it for another 30 seconds. Hey, okay. This is like, I mean, it looks pretty good. I know you can't see it, but I'll show you in a sec. <laughs> okay, that looks like literal dog food, but it smells good. <laughs> okay, let me, let me taste this without putting anything else in it. And then we'll see if we need to like add anything more. I can't tell if there's like already cheese in this, but I almost always like to add extra cheese to pretty much everything. I don't know why I feel nervous. <laughs> why do I feel nervous? Someone explain that to me. Mm. Okay, that's actually really good. It's like a little sweeter and hotter at the same time than what I thought it would be, which I mean, it tastes really good. What I'm definitely gonna do though is put it in the microwave for another 30 seconds and then I'm gonna toss a big handful of shredded cheese in there too, I think. Okay, so actually we have a little problem because we ran out of shredded cheese. So I think I'm... <laughs> debating putting pepper jack on here. I don't know if that's gonna like get even hotter. I just really like cheese. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. I gotta be quiet again, so I'm just gonna I eat this. It's gonna be a 45 minute lesson. You think so? Like only one person's gonna show up maybe? Right. It's been a weird day. None of his students have shown up because of everything going on. Alright. We decided to get out of the house. Vincent ended up he had a class with only one student who happens to be a pretty famous author 
and so they wanted to make sure she was taken care of and she was getting overwhelmed because it ended up just being her alone for the whole class and she signed up for a group class so anyway they moved her around so now he's back to two classes on Saturday which we're actually really happy about because we almost had it to where we couldn't go out on Saturday afternoons anymore so this is nice um, we decided to get out of the house as soon as he figured that out so we're taking a walk look at this view I know it's through the bars but isn't that gorgeous there's the George Washington Bridge out there. It's the Hudson River. I'm going to try some new lenses now. Yeah, new lenses. I showed them what they were. So we can go play around with them. Yeah. So tiny. I mean, like. I know, compared to what we're used to, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's like usually it's like up there. So fun. Gotta watch out for bikers on this pathway that we're on. Bike Look. lane. Get out of the. This is the. Um, the freeway is right over here. We have this big bike lane so that people can like go straight down. It's kind of fun. We're just gonna eat some Taco Bell. We ended up walking way more than we were planning and we were gonna go to the store and get something for dinner. We've been really bad about keeping up with grocery shopping because we've just been so busy this month. So we ended up doing takeout again. <laughs> literally she mentioned like, we've been eating takeout too much, but then we didn't feel excited till literally in like a minute. We As changed our mind. The fact that we eat takeout too much, we just decided to go get Taco Bell. It's fine. Everything's fine. Taco Bell's cheap. Um, okay, so we're gonna eat food and we're gonna watch Great British Bake Off. We watched season eight up until where it's at, it's at up to see episode seven right now. And we had never watched it before, but it's very uplifting and just what we need during these crazy times. So we're actually gonna go watch more of that. Also, let's just not even talk about how my nose is literally getting rubbed away by masks. You're gonna end up Michael Jackson. <laughs> Call the police! I'm gonna end up like Voldemort. <laughs> I'm gonna get down, bro. I'm gonna get down. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm so hungry. My <laughs> baby. Hey guys, just wanted to come on and end the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I love all of you so much. Next week should be really fun. We only have a couple more weeks until Vlogmas starts, so we're super crazy busy. I also wanted to mention, I have a podcast going live this Tuesday, as usual, so make sure that you go listen to that. By the time that you are watching this, the last one will already be live, 27 Things I'm Loving Right Now, um, in the spirit of a gratitude-filled November. So, there you go. Um, love you so much. Comment, subscribe, like, all the things, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Because it is his birthday! And we're gonna go get his favorite breakfast, which is breakfast burritos at the little bodega on the corner. But before we go do that, I wanted to show you. Um, so he's turning 27 today. Everyone go wish him a happy late birthday, because you're not gonna see this until Friday. But it's okay. Here's what I did.